This video covers chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, CMC. There will be questions at the end of the video. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis is a rare immunodeficiency disorder. Patients with CMC have recurrent or persistent skin, nails, and mucous membranes infections caused by conjugal species. CMC is the T-cell dysfunction that leads to the inability to clear the fungal infection. Impaired cell-mediated immunity against conjugal species. Absent in vitro T-cell proliferation in response to conjugal antigens. Classic form of CMC caused by defects in air gene. Air gene is responsible for regulating the immune system's response to self-antigens. Defects in air gene lead to autoimmunity against self-antigens, including conjugal. Patients with CMC have persistent non-invasive conjugal albicans infections of skin and mucous membranes, recurrent oral thrush, nail infections, and vulvovaginal candidiasis. Treatment of CMC includes antifungal therapy. Prophylactic antifungal therapy may also be recommended to prevent recurrence of infections. Immune support measures may be necessary, including hematopoietic stem cell transplantation in severe cases. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, CMC, is one of the T-cell disorders. Please review the first aid book. Now, let's do some questions. A 9-year-old girl presents with a history of recurrent oral thrush and vulvovaginal candidiasis. She also has a history of skin infections caused by conjugal albicans. She has no other significant medical history, and her physical examination is unremarkable. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. B. Immunoglobulin deficiency. C. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. D. Severe combined immunodeficiency. E. Ataxia telangiectasia. The answer is, C. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. The patient's history of recurrent oral thrush, vulvovaginal candidiasis, and skin infections caused by conjugal albicans is highly suggestive of chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. CMC is a rare genetic disorder characterized by recurrent and persistent infections caused by conjugal species, mainly conjugal albicans. Other symptoms may include nail infections, diaper rash, and chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, immunoglobulin deficiency, severe combined immunodeficiency, and ataxia telangiectasia are not typically associated with recurrent candidiasis. This is a very easy question. Don't get it wrong. Which of the following is the most common fungal pathogen responsible for chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis? A. Conjida albicans. B. Aspergillus fumigatus. C. Cryptococcus neoformans. D. Histoplasma capsulatum. E. Lastomyces dermatitides. The answer is, A. Conjida albicans. Conjida albicans is the most common fungal pathogen responsible for CMC. Although other conjida species may be implicated, conjida albicans is the most frequently reported. Aspergillus fumigatus, Cryptococcus neoformans, Histoplasma capsulatum, and Blastomyces dermatitides are not typically associated with CMC. Which of the following immune system components is typically deficient in chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis? A. B. Lymphocytes. B. Neutrophils. C. Complement system. D. T. Lymphocytes. E. Natural killer cells. The answer is D. T. Lymphocytes. T. Lymphocytes are typically deficient in CMC. Specifically, CMC is caused by a defect in the T helper 17 cell pathway which is important for the production of IL-17. The deficiency of Th17 cells leads to impaired immunity against conjida species. B. Lymphocytes, neutrophils, complement system, and natural killer cells are not typically deficient in CMC. Which of the following is a potential complication of chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis? A. Autoimmune hemolytic anemia. B. Acute kidney injury. C. Neurological sequelae. D. Malignancy. E. Renal tubular acidosis. The answer is, D. Malignancy. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis may increase the risk of developing malignancy, particularly squamous cell carcinoma. Patients with CMC have a chronic inflammatory state, which can lead to genetic damage and malignancy. 
autoimmune hemolytic anemia, acute kidney injury, neurological sequelae, and renal tubular acidosis are not typically associated with CMC. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.